SysPro. And SysPro is another system like many in our top 10 list that are focused on manufacturing and distribution. And food and beverage is an area that it does very well. And many of our food and beverage clients use SysPro. Now SysPro, because it's so focused on manufacturing, it, it gives it a lot of flexibility to be able to accommodate a lot of different business processes and workflows within food and beverage. Because it's not trying to be everything to everyone, that's one of the advantages of the product in that way. Some examples include the fact that the product is highly customizable per user. And when I say customizable, I mean more configurable in that you can personalize and change the software without necessarily changing the source code or changing the software in a way you can break it. So it's highly configurable. You can change it to fit individual user needs, which is a strength of the product. It's also scalable. So we see a lot of organizations that are in the small space using it, but we also see some larger mid-size organizations that use it as well. So if you are in that range of small to mid-size, it can be a, a very scalable product as you grow. They also provide a mix or a hybrid of on premise, cloud, and mobile solutions. So it really brings the best of all worlds together uh, across the board in those areas. And it's also considered a more robust solution just in general as a general qualitative observation. There's a lot of flexibility and robustness in what the product can do when you compare it to some of the other options in the top 10 list. Now, some of the negatives of SysPro include, first of all, the fact that there's a steep learning curve for the product when compared to some of the others in our top 10 list. It's a very powerful and robust system, but we've found that some of our clients struggle with a steep learning curve. There are certain workflows and business processes within the system that could be more automated and are more automated in some other ERP systems in the market. And then finally, one of the downside risks is that we found that data integrity checks can happen, but you can only do the data integrity checks when no one's in the system. So that could be a challenge as you think about how you're gonna deploy and use this software longer term. QAD is another product that I've provided a more comprehensive review of on my YouTube channel. So just go to my YouTube channel and search QAD and you'll find that independent review. But just to summarize some of what you'll find in that review and making it a little bit more specific to food and beverage is that like a lot of the systems in our top 10 list, it has a lot of the food and beverage processes and capabilities that you might need. QAD is generally considered a viable alternative to one of the larger tier one systems out there. So if you're a larger global organization, more complex organization, but you don't quite have the stomach or the tolerance to implement an SAP or an Oracle, QAD can be a great fit in that it provides the scalability, the international capabilities, as well as the general food and beverage manufacturing capabilities that are required. A couple of other benefits of the product include the fact that it has a low code development environment. So if you're looking for flexibility, but you don't want to get caught in the customization trap, you have low code options to be able to change the software and configure and personalize it more so than no most systems, but in a way that you don't have to customize or break the system. So that's another advantage that a lot of systems don't have that QAD does. And then finally, the maturity of QAD's cloud solution is above and beyond what a lot of the other systems have. So QAD has been a native cloud solution since 2008, which doesn't sound like a long time, but it's a lot longer than many of the other systems in our top 10 list. And this is important because as the other vendors make their transition to the cloud in the interim, there's a maturity issue. There's a maturity gap in terms of the maturity of the cloud solutions they offer versus the on-premise systems that they're moving away from. So QAD has a bit of a head start in that regard. So some of the downsides of QAD, first and foremost, and probably most importantly, is that QAD doesn't have a robust ecosystem of implementation partners and system integrators yet. I know this is an area that strategically the company is starting to shore up and starting to make good progress in that area. But if you're a larger organization, and even if the product is a good fit for you, the next question becomes, do you have the right technical implementation partner that can scale with you as well and that can support you in the way you need them to? So you want to really dive into that and really explore that ecosystem and make sure you find the right implementation partner before you settle on a product like QAD. And then another disadvantage that we found relative to other products in the marketplace is that it doesn't handle high volume manufacturing as well as some of the other systems in the market. So if you're extremely high volume manufacturer, it may be the QAD is a limited system for you and there might be other systems that can better fit that need. 